Hi, I'm Not Yet Dead, and welcome back to Peterville. So, uh, it's been a busy old day. We're now at 20 to 4 in the afternoon. I'm just finishing off the harvest of the sunflowers. I kept saying corn, I think, in the last video, but it's sunflowers. I know what I mean. Using a corn header, anyway. And yeah, so that's that field done. Just fold up the header. And uh, I'll put it into this rather lonely looking trailer here. Lonely because I've had the John Deere up fertilizing a few fields. So yeah, so it's been a busy day. Uh, field 41 has been harvested and is now being reseeded. We've also seeded 28, 27. Obviously we just harvested 26. The pig field up here is also ready to harvest, so we'll go do that next. Um, and I say I've just buried field 28. That's also had a layer of slurry. So I'm just, you know, I've got slurry left over. I've got fertilizer. I've got seed. I just thought, you know, I may as well use it. And then whoever buys the farm, um, you know, will get uh, will get a good deal. They'll be getting, you know, uh, fields that, are, for the most part, I'll, I'll keep going until I run out, basically. But for the most part, will be fertilized and, and seeded or planted or whatever, you know. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. I've also shipped a whole load of, or shipped, taken a whole load of equipment down to the store, but I haven't started selling it yet. Uh, I thought we'd do that later so you can see how we get on finance-wise. So uh, yeah, it's been a pretty pretty busy day getting all this stuff done. Um, I've also cut down the, the numbers of animals that we've got, chickens, sheep and cows, and of course I've already dropped the number of pigs. Um, <coughs> they've all been sold and uh, thankfully shipped by the dealer. I didn't have time to, to take them all in my in my uh, little animal trailer. I should fold that up, really shouldn't I? It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Actually I should have dropped the corn header off. Oh well, too late. It's fine. I was gonna. That's why I left the telly under there. I was gonna pick it up with the corn header, but it's okay. It's gonna be interesting. I haven't taken this up here yet. It's a lot of low-hanging trees, and it's quite a big combine. But hopefully, we'll be all right. And actually, I suppose on the basis that I'm not gonna take this cop. Oh, we've missed a strip. Oh, the workers missed a strip. Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Okay. Fine. Let's leave that to one side. Bear with me. Right, well, that's better. Okay. It was only about 500 litres in the end anyway, frankly, it probably wasn't really worth it for day day. But it's done. So yeah, so we'll head up to the pig field, get started on the canola up there. And uh, so I'm going to start some crops. So anyway, so yeah, a bit of an update. Uh, the reason things are moving in such earnest is, um, yeah, I spoke to uh, to the, the man who... Ah! Sorry. That wasn't very neatly done. It's a bit... If you hit the edge of this road at the wrong time, it really bounces you around. Um, yeah, I spoke to the man who um, who's wanting to sell uh, Shamrock Farm down in Shamrock Valley in Ireland. And uh, he's given me how much he thinks the place is worth. Um, he's going to throw in all the vehicles. He's retiring, so he's just going to leave the farm as is. Um, and he actually said, it's pretty much in the state it was when I was there a few days ago. It's, it's, he's not done much since, so uh, uh, which is fine. He's only got a few. So he's only got a few fields. I think he said he'd finished harvesting one of them, but he's going to leave the grain in the silo. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I think the land and the farm itself is nearly a million. Uh, he's going to throw in the vehicles and, and a bit lower than market value. He's not that bothered. So um, I need to get this place valued and then see what I can offer him. 
so I've had a guy around who's looked around all the fields and the two, the two yards and all that sort of stuff and I'll be expecting a valuation soon so we'll uh, we'll find out how much this place is worth and then I can make an offer but the, the chap at Shamrock says he's happy to wait till I've got a figure which is quite nice very nice chap and if we can pull it off very much looking forward to it right so this is our penultimate field uh, actually you know what we'll take that I was going to I wonder where to put the corn header, but we'll take it through and put it on this bit of grass here, a bit more space then. Easier to sort things out. Glad that left this as grass now, how convenient. There we go. So I like use this combine today. I've never used it. I haven't used it since I bought it, and all of a sudden it's done most of the fields that we own, which is quite cool. Right, let's get into it. field this and now I've got a load of potatoes off it far too many really I'll have to take some with me I don't fancy having to plant potatoes for the pigs as soon as I get there and uh, and yeah now this field of canola will see grape decided what to do about bales yet, whether I might take some with me, but I certainly want to take some potatoes and some silage. Um, don't know. There's one or two rather special pieces of equipment I think I'll be taking with me, but uh, maybe not too many. There's a, a, there's a dealer, which actually I visited while I was there to, to borrow some equipment. Um, there's one really close to the farm, so I question the shipping fees of shipping it, you know, even if I plan to replace, to buy some of it again, you know, a lot of the equipment I've got now, apart from this new class stuff that I bought relatively recently is, is quite old, well used, so it might make more sense to buy, you know, depends on, that's what I'll get for them when I look to sell, we'll see. But it's a chance to change things up a little bit. I say he's going to throw in the equipment for a modest fee that's already there, so at least I can get going immediately. Without having to worry too much. Just a bit.
There we go, that's pretty much one headland. Oops. I to find this corner a little bit tricky. Probably should have left it as grass that bit actually. Right, so I'm going to go around again and uh, then probably leave a worker to it, do what they can. There's vanity bits that I'll need to tidy up. It's a, it's a funny shaped field, lots of um, you know, constricting elements that workers don't like. And uh, perhaps we'll go see what else needs doing. So, um, so I'm going to use up what seed and fertilizer I've got left. I may as well as a benefit to the person who eventually buys the farm. And uh, so I will see how our workers doing seeding field 41. And I'll perhaps see you over there in a little while. Right, so workers are <coughs> busy on the pig field. On the canal, as you can see, the field next door, which, what's in the field next door? Field 40, is soybeans. It's uh, nearly ready. We need it on one more growth stage. Again, it's got different growth stages. I must have had it on times five when I was seeding, and I should always remember to take it off times five when I'm seeding. But anyway, oh, that should be up. Um, but yeah, so we'll just finish seeding this off. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of seed left in here. Whether it'll be enough to do the whole of the, what was the sunflower field, I'm not sure. But um, it's worth a go. And I've still got some in a, pa a little bit in a pallet. So actually between the two of them, it might be enough. Um, may as well, but that'll probably be it. I'm not sure I have enough of that one under pig field as well. So, but no. That's still what, if I can get those done, that's still four fields out of six that will be fully seeded, which is not bad for whoever buys the farm. Just going to fold it up a minute, get it out of the way, and quickly run up the edge. to better get, get a bit of use out of the Axiom. It's a nice tractor. A bit sad that I'll have to leave it behind, but you know, maybe another time we'll get another one. Do this in one, am I? Mind you, this Bronto's done me good work as well, just like the John Deere. I've had this since we started on Mar. Oh, awesome! Hold on, mind. Um, I've had this since we started on Marwell, so it's not done as badly at all. And it's a, it is a great seeder. It's got good width, good capacity, and it's a direct seed. So you know. I need to have a look because I think I've got some manure that needs spreading too. But it won't be enough to do the corn field, so I might leave that for this field. Or one of these two fields, anyway. I've used up all the slurry. There we go. Oh, oops. That's not helpful. This tree really is a nuisance. There we go. Done. Okay, on to the next job.
I may just leave this here actually simply because its next function will be to do the field mind you now I might do the cornfield I suppose oh actually yes I might do the cornfield in which case because actually quite urgently I need to get the trailer oops up to the pig field to empty the combine which must be four by now we'll get in there Right, so I'll go fill this up, I'll grab the trailer and I'll, uh, I'll press see up at the pig farm. I did of course forget to say that I also need to come and empty this, so um, oh, that's weird, why have two different egg pallets started filling, oh whatever, I mean I didn't bother selling them, though I did make some good money on those, each of those pallets was worth I think nine grand. Anyway, so yeah, so we've got nearly half full trailer here. Um, and uh, I'd already filled it once. So that's quite a decent amount of sunflowers off that field. So we're doing total, yeah, so it's going to be well over 40, what about 47, 48,000? That's pretty good. Oh, look at the value of it and it's going up as is the price of canola oh, that's brilliant how's the price of wool that's still climbing too so we've got good good opportunity to sell some 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 uh, some grain that's rather pleasing okie dokie we've got a little bit of milk to sell not a lot but a little bit right anyway as i said i'll see you up at the pig field I sure will I. No, you don't need to see me after the pig field. I'll see you in the John Deere. We'll do a bit of spraying next once I've entered the combine. Right, so field 40's, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> field 40's ready to harvest. So, time to get the last one going. And, uh, yeah, last bit. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold your horses. Yeah, last field to be harvested on Peterville Farm. Hold out the combine. Let's get going. We'll do a bit and then I'll show you where we're up to. Lots going on, it's been a very busy day. But uh, we've made a deal. So, uh, the, uh, the seller in Shamrock has uh, kindly said that for a round, for a round number of 1.2 million, it's the farm and all of his vehicles, given that they're, you know, used, uh, that's the figure we set. I've had a land agent come around, I've got the valuation back, and the land here is worth 1.3. So, um, so yeah, I've accepted it. Uh, this place is going on the market. I might take some of my equipment with me, but I'll make some money off some of it, because I'm not going to take all of it. I don't need the equipment as big as what I've got here. But hopefully, might mean I'll have a little bit of money <coughs> left over. Um, perhaps buy some more fields, or you know, see when we get there, really. But, so yeah, we'll be in a good position. Can either save it, invest in a future farm, or whatever. You know, we'll see. But yeah, so last field of soybeans. Still trying to figure out which equipment I'm going to take with me. Um, there's certainly one or two bits that I'll take and, you know, just to start with, maybe filling a gap in the machinery that I'll have there and then maybe I'll, I'll look to replace those at some point. But um, We'll sell a lot of what we've got, a lot of it we've had for a long time. Unfortunately, some of it's very new, but just going to be too big for where we're going. A um, little bit too expensive to run and manage, maybe for, for you know the value it, it would add. It's also you know relatively new. I should get a decent price for it. So you know, plus it's not worth spending an absolute fortune shipping a whole load of stuff from here to there. 
I'll set up a um, uh, specialist animal removers. They're going to look after the animals for a little while once I settle in, and then they'll bring them down. Uh, so that's all set. There'll be a fee, I'm sure. I need to figure out with them what that would cost. But uh, principle, they're all right with it. Yeah, got some crops to sell, so we'll get this going, and then maybe we'll go do that. Oops, let's not leave bits. I have to come back to later. That'll just be annoying. I've got quite lucky actually. The prices of canola are on the rise. The prices of soybeans are on the rise. We need to look and see where they are. We might just miss the peak of the soybean price, of course, as I'm just harvesting it now. But you never know. milk to sell as well I think. It's a funny shape field this one, what we'll do is we'll get a worker going on it, there'll be bits that I'll have to come and do later. Oh whoops, edge. Oh come on, don't mess me about oh, hedges, seriously. Probably that patch there, I'm not sure that's ever grown anything, went on with the soil. work to it so let's have a look so yeah canola price is still on the rise sunflower price is still on the rise soybeans has maxed out yeah we might miss the peak of that unfortunately corn price isn't awesome I may leave the corn to be honest right but we've got a full load of canolas and a full load of sunflower okay Oh, and the other thing to point out, uh, we've been busy on the fields as we've been around harvested. So field 26, I've just had a worker spraying it. Um, oh, it needed lime. Oh, well, better than nothing. Oh, he's missed a bit. Okay, fine. So there's, there's some work to do on... She's missed a load. What? That's weird. I know, missed this bit at the top, but this bit already had a level of fertilisation. Oh, I know why. I'm in your spread it. That's why. Okay. Oh, fine. So yeah, I've got to this bit at the top. He missed. But yeah, so we've reseeded and fertilised all the fields. Field 41 hasn't been fertilised, but has been reseeded. Um, so if there's enough seed left, I'll, I'll reseed field 40. If there's another fertilizer left, I'll re I'll, re I'll spray 41 and 40. May as well use up what we got. Don't particularly want to take it with us. Uh oh, combines come in. Right, let's go sell some stuff. <laughs> Oh, there we 
we go. Last field harvested and uh, soybeans going in. Just be curious to see how much we've got. Let's hold that up. Leave it there for a sec, we'll come move that in a little while. How much do we get? 13,000. It's not much actually. But the price is held at 3,000 odd. Unfortunately the price of sunflower and coral is still going up so we could have got a bit more for those. But anyway let's go and sell this. I need to reopen the gate again. Yeah so I've sprayed, I've finished spraying on oh I haven't got these field numbers down. 26 and I've just sprayed field 41. Should be enough left easily to do field 40 and I realise there's a couple of containers in the yard but I'll leave those for the buyer. That's fine. And uh, right, let's go sell this and see what we get. Right, here we go. Last crop. Uh, still got some milk and some uh, wool to sell actually as well. May not do that on screen. I think this is going to be a long enough episode as it is and I haven't really got enough to warrant doing another one. <laughs> so... Yeah, 40,000 up to 438. We're definitely going to have some money left over after we've bought Shamrock. So, uh, yeah, I have to think about what we do with that. But anyway, I'll see you in a little while. So we're down here at the store. I've sold the milk as you saw, fertilised uh, field, is that field 41? 40. Oh well, close enough. And now I've got a worker seeding it. Um, so I thought we'd better come down here because I've been hogging the space down here for a while with uh, you know all the things that I brought down to sell, ooh bump, all the things I brought down to sell so I thought I'd better come and uh, sell some, frankly. So, let's go talk to the dealer man and see what we'll get. Start with uh, the Valtelli. I have a, f I think I'm going to keep the JCB. I'll need a slightly more powerful tractor. I'm going to keep it for now. But yeah, so um, let's get these round. He won't mind them mucky. And uh, oh, come on, <laughs> lower it, lower it, lower it. Touch that, touch that. See what we'll get.
Right, so um, just finish off seeding this field and our work on the farm is pretty much done. So as you can see, quite a healthy bank balance from selling all that equipment. Obviously still got, you know, the Cedar, the John Deere, a telehandler and a lorry. I've decided what I'm gonna keep. So I'm, for now I'm gonna keep the JCB. Um, I'm also gonna keep uh, my old tractor from up at the pig farm and um, uh, and the Massey Ferguson skid steer as well just just in case I need it I may decide to get rid of it once I move but I thought I'll keep it for now just because it makes more sense um, in case I decide I do need it and if I don't need it well I can sell it when I get there so we'll hang on to those for now and uh, yeah we're pretty much done so we'll seed this field I'll take this tractor and seed it down to the store in a little while but the next job then is to go and stack whatever wool we have I'm going to leave the eggs uh, I'll let someone know they can come and help themselves perhaps just sell them by the edge of the road or something rather than delivering them because there's only a couple of boxes in each crate so not really worth taking them with me or oh, sorry taking them to the sell point there we go last use of my big John Deere could have had this tractor for a very long time try and get all this in one shot this should be okay and there we go field is seeded, the field is sprayed work, field work at least is finished on Peterville Farm so I'll make arrangements for the uh, skid steer I should take this up to the yard for a minute yeah I'll make arrangements for the skid steer and the uh, the old tractor up at the pig farm to be shipped I'll drive the JCB over and I've already made arrangements for the animals to be looked after for a little while and then they'll be moved later on I'll also take some bales I think I've got loads of bales and I will need some when I get there so some bales some silage uh, some of those potatoes that I've just harvested for the pigs all that stuff I'll take all of that with me I'm not sure why I'm taking this all the way around the yard but you know what Right, I'll grab the telehandler. We'll get the uh, wool loaded up and I'll see you over at the cell point. sold, a bit fiddly because I had to bring the telehandler up there to, to sell it but you know so let's uh, just oops not that low and say we'll just lower that down not that low detach that detach that gee that really weight's weird okay sell that pair it sell it thank you very much oof 
pretty good price. This is relatively new, I forget. I mean, I've got a fair bit of use out of it, but... Uh, eight hours. Have I spent eight hours in the telehandler the whole time I've been on this map? So, uh, fortunately, someone else managed to bring the truck down for me and parked it very nicely just here. Obviously drove a little bit faster than I did in the telehandler. In the meantime, I've also had someone else bring down the other tractors, so this is the last few bits of machinery I say I've arranged shipping for uh, the few bits that I want to keep. They'll follow me at some point. They probably won't be there quite when I get there, but uh, maybe they will. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, this is even before I sell the farm. That said, I say I think for the most part, if I remember rightly from the price I got, I'll only I'll only be about a hundred grand or so um, over once I've uh, bought Shamrock um, and all the, the the machinery that he's going to leave me. I said that was about 1.2, and I think Peterville's worth about 1.3, so it won't add much. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, the land agents are pretty comfortable. But we'll get the full the full price for it. So whoa, that's well beyond repair. <laughs> Eight hundred and sixty-six pounds, Craigie. Clearly not repaired that for a little while. Still seventy-two grand, not to be sniffed at. Shame really to sell this quite so soon, but never mind. Maybe one day we'll get another one. Still spent four hours in it. And lastly, ah, oh, and somehow fittingly, my John Deere 6250 that I've had ever since I started at Marwell. It's been a very good tractor to me, this. Do love it. But it was uh, it was soon to be replaced anyway, so this is a good fitting time. But uh, I do love that tractor. Ooh, that was a bit needing in need of repair as well. Wow, I'm worth 98 grand. So how much are we taking with us? 2.1 million. That's amazing. That's just selling crops and all the vehicles I had. That's nuts. Now I dare say I'll need to make some investments when I get to where I'm going but uh, right we'll start the JCB better give it a wash on the way because it's filthy there's no point in worrying about it now so sorry about the drilling noise slightly not in keeping if you can hear that but farewell Peterville. Oops, shan't miss this bend though. Shall miss that view, but luckily of course Shamrock's uh, seaside town as well. And we'll, uh, we'll go find our overnight ferry and head over to Ireland. So, I hope you've enjoyed spending some time with me here in Scotland on Peterville Farm. I've very much enjoyed this map. It has its niggles, but uh, it's a lovely map. Uh, and uh, we've done some good stuff including getting our pig trophy but yeah so um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did and you don't subscribe yet likes and subscriptions are very much appreciated as I always say and uh, yeah just come past the fields past the farm but we are on to well haha pastures new as they say over in Ireland so uh, I'll look forward to seeing you there very soon and we'll see what awaits us in Shamrock Valley. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>